The army has committed to leaving behind battles of the past and has now taken up a new fight for the development and rebuilding of Sri Lanka. But what about the rest of the country? In this respect, the dialogue continues. Our next story documents the views of some eminent personalities who came together recently to speak on this very issue, on how Sri Lanka should move ahead and best accommodate the changes and opportunities peace brings with it. After the war, what next? It is a loaded question with no clear answer. But it was to search for possible solutions to this national question that several speakers met at the public library on a day that had special relevance to them all. The 9th of July 2009, which was the 104th birth anniversary of renowned politician Dr. N. M. Pereira. A leftist politician who famously championed the rights of minorities, Dr. N. M. Pereira is seen by many to be an exemplary figure of Sri Lankan politics, one from whom those in power, especially today, would have a lot to learn. Evidence of this was that all speakers present at his memorial mentioned that, had he been alive today, the ethnic conflict may never have taken place. Uh, I would think that had Dr. N. M. Pereira been alive today, he would have wanted us very much to see that there is no recurrence of what has occurred earlier. Is there a danger of such a recurrence? I am afraid there is. It is unfortunate that the successful war against separatism and terrorism, which has resulted in the defeat, military defeat of the LTTE, is being considered by some people as a sufficient guarantee of the unity of our country as one Sri Lankan and our getting together as one Sri Lankan people. But I think we have to be realistic and face the truth. Now, As head of the all-party representative committee appointed by the president, Minister Thissavitharana pressed the issue of implementing the controversial 13th Just Amendment, which mainly attempts to address the issue of devolving powers, but also looks at the language problem as well. Now, we have a situation where even the 13th Amendment is not being properly implemented. What is the message that we are going? There are people who are opposing that. What is the message that is going to the country, to the world? Is it to tell those people who gave up arms at that time on the basis of the 13th Amendment? We are not going to implement the 13th Amendment. Isn't that an invitation to them to go back to arms? And the implementation of the 13th Amendment would be a sending of the correct signal because the process of the All-Party Representatives Committee and our proposals which need to be implemented will take time. And therefore, in the interim, we have to send the right signals to the Tamil people to convince them that after the defeat of the LTTE, that they can be assured that they will get their due rights in our country as equal citizens. Mistakes have been made that cannot be undone. But now more than ever, there are opportunities to rectify these as best as possible, mend old wounds and move towards a future where peaceful coexistence is a certainty rather than merely a vision. In order to even begin to do this, however, there are concerns that need to be addressed immediately, such as the looming IDP issue. What should a responsible government be doing? The position that is taken by the government that there has got to be security screening is acceptable. But it must be done professionally People must be arrested, and as far as possible, they must be arrested in broad daylight so that people know that an arrest is being made. What we need 
is a concurrent process. And people in the IDP camps have got to be screened, released in batches, and they must go back to their villages, return to their homes, their schools, their temples, their churches, their livelihoods. And that must be done as soon as possible. Quite apart from the IDP problem, you know which the government is attempting country, to resolve by the end of the year, there is the question of Indian attitude. The war has left both Sinhala like and Tamil communities uh, with a deep-seated suspicion of each other, and this needs to be decimated if reconciliation is to be successful. Now that has increased after the war, simply because there was this winner-loser syndrome. And out of that winner-loser syndrome, there developed an insider-outsider syndrome, which is not at all healthy for the life of the country. Consequently, I know for sure that the Tamil community feels even more alienated than they did before. Mrs. Ashraf, well known, she is from the bishop's Central sentiments Pakistan and those of the other speakers at the event the are timely and relevant, ringing out over the cacophony of post-war euphoria and urging all present my to focus on back. moving on with processes of reconciliation. In a peaceful country, the role that everyone let to play is very vital. Let us forget if we have any difference of opinion among us whether communal or otherwise, or religious, any, whatever it may be. We will forget all that and now work towards building a nation united and one, for which the, the, the contribution of the Tamil sweeping people will be there. I will play a main role in doing that because I know the thinking of the Tamil people. Separation is out, completely out. No one wants separation. We want to unite Sri Lanka. As we have just heard, the predicament of the displaced civilians in the north remains a major concern. Political parties too are feeling that the issue needs more priority and more support from the nation as a whole. The JVP, for instance, have outlined their views on both the IDP issue and on how the bigger picture of inter-ethnic harmony should be addressed. Bedungwadi Trastavade, Yudamash and Parda, Tirnat Maka, Sandistan Ek to Saint Via Sri Lanka, Anagate, Budnegima, Singhala Demal Muslim Burger, Malay, Sir Purasian, Gay, Eka and Balapurtuai. Emma Satkaria Sandaha, Ratamehe Vimedi, Jatika Samagi, Budnegima, Attavasaha, Promukha Tama, Karia Pane, Jatika Samagi, Budnegimedi, Upper. Muhunadi at the Jataka Prasna, Niverdu Terunganima, Niverdi Visundum Labadi Mother, Kalayu to one mayor. You day to an out and one gay Prasna, Jatikos and Pradhan Town Prasna about Terunganimin, Evisundima Sandaha, Tomukata Labadimin, Media Tima, Aramunu Karaganimin, Eka, Aumoshen, Masahak, Atulata, Siro Muli Kawaseta, Nisi Paridi, Sapura Lamin, Own, Yalipadin Chikirim, Pior Gata Utia. We're going in for a break right now, but when we return, we'll have more on IDP issues.